Hi, how you doing? It's Jeff Sinker again from Skype Guitar Lessons Online. Or oh, should I call it the Genesis channel? Back again with them. This one, I'm sure if you're a Genesis fan, you'll know this song. Your own special way from the Trigger of the Tale album. Uh, really great, great song. It was suggested by one of my subscribers. Great. I, I totally forgot about covering this song. When I saw the request, I thought, yeah, I've just got to do this. I did a bit of research on the song uh, because there wasn't many versions out there on YouTube. Uh, there's some good ones where people are singing along with the song, some great renditions of that. But I couldn't find one uh, at the beginning that was covering the way it was played. And just to let you know, I'm focusing on Mike Rutherford, uh, what he was playing on the guitar. Now, he did play this on a 12 string, and sadly, I am on a 12 string and did play it on an acoustic, but I'm using my um, Music Man here through my 11 rack. I'm getting this kind of nice sound. I'm, I'm actually split the coils on this. I've got a little switch on here that allows me to split the coil. So I get more of a Stratocaster sound against the kind of harshness of the humbuckers there. So that, that was a little modification that I had done to this guitar, which is pretty cool. Uh, but the way I'd seen it being played before is not the way that Mike Rutherford played it. And I, I kind of hunted around and I found this great video of them doing uh, some public TV show back in the USA a long, long time ago when they all had big hairy beards and strange looking boots that it was all wearing. But um, I could see, because uh, when I'd seen it played other versions, it didn't look right. It didn't sound just the way that I was hearing it. So what I've done on this lesson, I've got it as close as possible to the way Mike Rutherford played this song. So let's get into it. Really the chords that you're playing is a C chord, down here. It goes to a C6. Now if you don't want to play it the way I'm doing it down here, um, you've got, all I'm going to do is just play a standard C and then I'm going to flap my second finger so I'm playing the 6th there, I'm playing that A on the G string and then I go to a C major 7. So you would get this, this is the version I've seen quite a lot on the YouTube, you get this. which really didn't cut it for me, and that's why I did this research. So what he's doing, he's playing a C, but he's dropping in the E here. So I'm playing across that chord. Now I don't bother really hitting the E string at the top, so I just let, I get lazy with my first finger so that it gets muted out, but I get this. So I get very close, well it is, I, you know, so it's watching brother for play it. And then you just drop down this third finger to the seventh fret on the D. So I'm getting... And then I'm going to move up to where it would normally be a C7, sorry a C major 7. I'm playing 9 on the D and I'm playing 7 on the G string and I get the major 7th from this open B string and then back to what would be that C6 which is just holding down this note again on 7th fret so I've got this so you could really see it as an A minor if you wanted to you know you see this A minor And that is the way, according to that video that I saw, that's how Mike Rutherford was playing that main theme. Now, you then go down to a G sharp chord, which is the same shape as a standard F chord. So I'm playing across here, I'm on four on the E, four on the B, five on the G, and six. 
And uh, it, this is a little bit open to interpretation because there are so many other dubs. And of course, you've got Steve Hackett playing in the background there on this song as well. But what I do, I just go. So I'm just picking, I'll do a downstroke. for the bar, and then I move down to a G. And then I'm gonna bring in this F sharp because if we get in this movement of going down and that. That's what we play on, that's what the bass line is following. So you get this F, G sharp to a G. And then we have got this uh, F sharp. So I'm playing fourth fret on the D string, bit of a stretchy one here. I'm playing two on the G string, so I'm playing that A, and then I've got my B, first fret, so I'm playing this C with an open E. So it's giving me a, a kind of a diminished, I have seen it played where you play a, an F sharp diminished, let me get my fingers in here, where you get an F sharp diminished. Um, but I, I kind of, when I was listening to it and watching him uh, playing down, it sounds a lot closer to play this F sharp diminished chord this way. And then it finishes with this progression down, just going to a an F sharp major. So I got that G, stretchy. your F sharp and then of course the first time around he goes back to and back into it repeats that through let's look at the chorus section quite a bit of movement going on here and uh, so I'll just play it through and then I'll break it down for you Right, let's just go through what we're doing here bit by bit. We start off with that C chord, and we've got that, got that little kicking down, down. Now what I'm playing there, I start off, I've got that shape of the, so I'm playing five, five, and then I do seven, six should kind of know that riff there, uh, but we're playing this across the G and the B string. So I'm playing five to seven, six, seven on the G, B is six. And then what I'm doing, I'm just playing through, I, I move up two frets, so I'm playing nine and eight. So it's going. So then I get back to it. Let me break that down, that was a bad example. There's that nine, back down to seven and six, onto a B minor. And then from the B minor, we go down to an F major chord. And I'm just bringing that. Now, uh, Rutherford doesn't play that. I've just thrown that in, but that was actually played by Steve Hackett. He just plays that little line over, but because he's still unavailable. And then we do an E minor to an F. 
Now, while that's going on, Steve Hackett and with uh, Tony Banks on the piano, we get in this... Over that... Go to a G. To an F. Let me repeat. That is all of the sections. Um, even when they did it on this video, when I saw they didn't go into the Tony Banks keyboard solo, and I'm not going to cover that because that is really keyboard. You know, that is pure Tony Banks playing that entire section. Of course, once he goes through the keyboard section, then it goes back to the chorus. So we got back into that. Plays that. The only thing he does, he extends that. Uh, he does that longer, you know. just gets lengthened and then it goes back out onto the you can accent because I'm sure you can hear it on that record which again is Steve Hackett and Tony Banks doing the keyboard you've got that little stab sound that you can hear to bring that in, just to kind of add that. Just to add that little kind of that sound that you got when Genesis recorded this song. But it, it it sounds a very complicated song. Of course, there are more things going on with Steve Hackett. He's doing a lot more bits and pieces over the top of it. But for just the individual guitarist learning this song, uh, I, uh, to me, I think I've got this kind of broken down the way. If I was performing this live, this is the way I would do it. But I do hope you've enjoyed learning how to play this. I, kind of, I know I've kind of flashed through it quite quickly, but I'm sure kind of breaking it, stop, place, you'll be able to follow it through. Uses fairly simple chords, uh, but it has great effect. But obviously, that little part at the beginning, that's the part you've got to get. To me, that really sets off the song and makes it away from the other versions that I've heard. Well, I'm going to let you go now and so you can get in there and start to learn and play along with this song. Uh, if you did enjoy the song, first time on the channel here and you like what you see, don't forget, click on that subscribe button and, and don't forget that little bell next to it, ding ding there, and that way you'll be notified whenever I upload any new songs or any new Genesis songs. Well, until the next time though, I'm going to let you go. It's been a pleasure seeing you all again and I look forward to you seeing you and your company again in the future. Until then, goodbye. Take care.